Jura the Tide Karmazin, uh, which was first discovered by the Russian scientist Gulevich uh, in 1901. And uh, he also later on uh, found the primary structure of the David Tide, which, consist, which consists of beta alanine and histidine. And this beta alanine histidine uh, is a specific component of uh, uh, excitable tissues. Uh, neural tissue, especially brain, uh, heart muscles, skeletal muscles. And later on, the pupil of Gulevich, uh, 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 Sergei Severin, uh, demonstrated uh, first biological activity of carnosine, which is, uh, consists of uh, enormous increase in muscle working capacity when carnosine was added into the surrounding medium when muscle is uh, contracting under uh, rhythmic uh, stimulation of uh, uh, Neurons. So it was first demonstration that carnosine may be involved in the uh, metabolic um, reactions of the excitable tissues. And uh, uh, after that, we uh, um, repeated the experiments uh, which were first performed by Severin using in vivo conditions, not uh, adding carnosine into the surrounding medium, but uh, administrating carnosine into the uh, bloodstream of the uh, exercised uh, rats, and they found that carnosine under these conditions increased uh, about 20% uh, the longevity of the work of the animals, and surprisingly, uh, this effect was combined with not increased uh, accumulation of uh, lactic acid in the muscles, but decreased amount of the uh, lactic acid in the muscle of the uh, animals which were work more efficiently and longer. Uh, when we try to understand the uh, mechanism of the phenomenon, uh, they were going to the experiments with, uh, with brain uh, under, uh, under stroke. And they found that uh, in the brain under stroke, where the uh, very pronounced decrease in mm, microcirculation of, uh, of uh, blood through the uh, arterial system, uh, and this effect after, uh, after brain stroke is kept during several hours, at least 24 hours, it's still suppressed by 7%. And if you use carnosine uh, for the group of animals before stroke, uh, the administration of carnosine in, in such an animals results in lower decrease in the microcirculation and better restoration of the process. So it is better uh, supply of the, of the a tissue with uh, blood, and this might be the reason why uh, accumulation of end products of the metabolism is lower in the case when carnosine is present. And our explanation is that uh, we have found that carnosine may uh, directly interact with superoxide anion to decrease its amount. So when uh, when ischemic episode results in increase in ROS and NOS and no radical may uh, uh, regulate vasodilatation uh, through the specific biochemical mechanism, known biochemical mechanisms. Uh, <coughs> uh, but uh, there is a competitive way when no radical may interact with superoxide, provide the peroxide formation and cellular damage. And if carnosine is present, and if carnosine really can uh, quench superoxide, uh, in such a way, uh, carnosine may prevent peroxide formation and cellular damage, and also may uh, elucidate, may uh, simplify the NO effect on vascular dilatation. So, since that time, a number of uh, laboratories, a number of uh, researchers uh, working on carnosine biological activity uh, demonstrated a number of very important features of the compound. Uh, starting from pH buffering capacity and osma regulatory activity through chelation of uh, heavy metal ions, uh, immunomodulation of the uh, T cells, mainly uh, free radical creation, and an even anti glycating uh, activity. So it was a list of the very important uh, features which may be the basis for the uh, usage of carnosine in the uh, as a treatment for uh, neurodegenerative diseases. And first we started to, to check carnosine uh, in the experiments where we uh, measured the longevity of the uh, long longevity of the uh, of the animals and they found that carnosine don't, don't uh, 
effective. The maximum lifespan uh, provides about 20% increase in the lifespan of the animals they have used specific line of the, of the mice, which are uh, senescence accelerated in their features. So they, they have the increased level of oxidative stress, constantly increased level of oxidative stress. And uh, under these conditions, uh, the longevity of life is decreased. Uh, when carnosine is administrated, so it, it, it results in, in a pronounced uh, increase in lifespan and even increase in the uh, quality of life and the behavioral activity and even the uh, learning capacity of the animals. Another example uh, was found for Drosophila melanogaster when the fruit flies were uh, growing on the, uh, in the, in, in, on, on the level of this food uh, containing carnosine and this is car uh, carnosine provide the uh, in increase in lifespan uh, in a dose dependent manner, starting from 0.2, 2, and 20 milligrams per liter of the food. So, uh -huh. so it is uh, 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 ability uh, to, to use carnosine as preventer of oxidative stress. And uh, uh, we, we try to, in order to, to, to confirm this, uh, this conclusion, we've used the model of uh, uh, prenatal hypoxia, where pregnant rats were uh, exposed to the uh, hypoxic shock at the tenth day of the pregnancy, uh, when the, uh, which corresponds to the step of the formation of, of, of brain matter tissue. And these animals, after, which were born after such a hypoxic shock, uh, are characterized by uh, lower weight and lower number of pups in the litter. And if carnosine is uh, administrated to the uh, pregnant rats, the, uh, the generation they have, used, they have got after that uh, was nearly the same in number and in average weight as uh, the, 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 the count of the intact elements. So uh, we can say that carnosine may be a really useful protector. And if you taste the, uh, uh, the, the, the pups, uh, of this uh, group of animals. In the uh, learning capacity, in Morris water test, we, uh, we can demonstrate that uh, this is the way uh, of the animal from start to the platform in the water pool, and uh, after, uh, after learning, five trials uh, of learning uh, before the day of experiment. And this is the way of animals which cannot remember the way uh, while they have just tasted this, uh, tested this way uh, a, a, day, a day ago. Uh, because of the uh, memory deficit. But this is a way of animals corresponding to, to, this, to the group which were treated with carnosine after oxidative stress. And if you compare the effect of carnosine with that of another natural neuropeptide, uh, n acetyl aspartic glutamate, it is seen that n aspartic acetyl glutamate provides an even worse effect in search of the platform compared to, to that of carnosine. Uh, uh, in agreement with, yeah, this is numerical values. In agreement with this effect, we found the carnosine uh, action uh, may be related to increasing SO reactivity. This is a number of intact animals. This is a, a set of animals after uh, prenatal hypoxia, and this is a group of animals uh, which were treated with carnosine after prenatal hypoxia shock. And this is uh, also data for the individual neurons. Uh, this amount of, of, of dead neurons uh, in the uh, suspension of primary culture uh, under a set of intact animals, 15%, 30% 30 of dead neurons in the uh, group corresponding to the uh, precedes uh, uh, prenatal hypoxia, and the same 15% of dead neuronal cells in primary culture of the animals which were treated with carnosine. And at the same time, the mean mean fluorescence corresponding to the level of ROS in the uh, cells is also normalized by carnosine from 27 at control, uh, 55 after uh, prenatal uh, oxidative stress, and 23 uh, when carnosine is used to <coughs> uh, Very good uh, independent uh, uh, data were found in, in, in the laboratory, in one American laboratory, where, where they patented the uh, data that carnosine may really decrease the 